Because I am a Muslim, I don't have the same rights as everyone else. Because I am a Muslim, I don't get a chance to fulfill my dreams. Because I am a Muslim, I should be made fun of and be pushed down. No, I have the same rights as everyone else in this world. Everyone has the same rights, no matter what their colour, race, opinions, beliefs or backgrounds. We are all the same. We are all human. My name is Fiza Afif. I'm 11, nearly 12 years old. And in case somehow you didn't quite catch that, I'm a Muslim. My mum... <laughs> My mum and my dad were born in Pakistan, but my siblings and I were born here. My friends always complain to me that their brother or their sister annoy them. And I, and I say, how do you think I feel surrounded by annoying siblings? Even worse, I'm the youngest, so I just get ordered around even more. If anyone thinks they have terrible siblings, then wow, they haven't stepped into my shoes yet. Anyway, going back to the main point, I have a dream that one day I will be a computer scientist. I, will, I look at my form tutor and computer science teacher to inspire me, but mostly I don't let racism in my way. I hear all sorts of racist comments every day in my life, and there is nothing anyone does to change it. But I'm here to make a change. I want everyone to be treated fairly, everyone to, be, to feel the same, no matter what their difference is. I want racism to no longer be around and I will not leave until I get heard. To start off, I would like you all to just quickly think of the perfect character profile for a terrorist in your opinion. Well, let me just tell you what I thought you imagined. You may have imagined a brown man with a beard. He had brown eyes and was about middle-aged. He was a Muslim. Well, that is not the case. A terrorist can be anyone, and skin colour or race does not change that. If you imagine this, I wouldn't worry too much, because that is just the typical profile for a terrorist these days, but I'm here to change that too. I once had a small conversation with a friend, and we talked about how Islam hated everyone and wished that no one except from themselves are left in this world. There may be some people out there that call themselves Muslim, and commit vicious crimes and kill many innocent lives. But that does not mean that anyone who is a Muslim is like that. In fact, in Islam, we do not look at people for their differences, but we look for their similarities. In the past, Muslims and many other religions have been hurt due to their differences. Let me take the prime example of Palestine. Anyone who says that Muslims do not want anyone in this world except from themselves well, this is the example for you. Palestine is a country in which Muslims used to live. I repeat, used to live. This was until Jewish people were attacked during the war and tried to find a place to live. Despite the fact that Muslims and Jewish people have been fighting for many years in the past, the Palestinians let them into their country, let them into their lives. Later on, the Jewish started fights and wars, taking over Palestine little by little. People were buried alive, killed severely, and not many survived a country. A country where Palestinians mostly lived became a Jewish country. But what is most surprising, if you were to ask any surviving Palestinian, they would say that they do not regret their decision of sharing their country, because this is what a true Muslim would want to do. I know that right now, all of you are probably thinking, so what, that's all ch changed. That was in the past. Well, it, things ha haven't changed. This may have been in the past, but in some places, people are still tortured like this. And my main point is that Islam in its whole entirety is not against the world, but the world is against it. However, we can make this change. We can live in a world where everyone is loved, no matter what their difference is. So when you go home, I want you to think about this, this hatred and racism in the world, because we will not leave until everyone, I repeat, everyone is treated the same. You can make a big difference no matter who you are or where you are, so make it. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh.
So, uh, where's Fizz's mum? Can you adopt me? I, I want to be another sibling and just come and... I, I won't pick on you. I'll be a really good big sister. This... Uh, so, you've just turned 12? Um, no, nearly 12. Nearly? You're not even 12? Mm -hmm. So, you're 11 years old. Yeah. And you, you stand here and talk about things that many adults can't verbalise and can't find the answers to. What is it that makes you think, do you know what? I'm going to say something about this. Even though you're young, why is it that being young hasn't held you back? Because one day, people will be judged fully. Like Right now, it's not really bad, but racism will get worse during the years. Mm -hmm. So when I'm older, I probably won't get the chances that I have now because it will all change. So I want to make it change now. Can you, can you see people like this making a difference in our world? Really? The difference is you. Honestly, Vita, I just think people with your kind of energy and your... You don't, you don't ask yourself the question, well, surely I can't do anything. I'm only a kid. I'm only a girl. I'm only a Muslim. I can't do anything. And you don't let any of those things affect you. You just decide, actually, it's wrong. Let's do something. Do you think that 11-year-olds all over the country, do you think that collectively together they could be making change from the, kind of, from the young age upwards? Yeah, anyone can make a change. It's just about wanting to make the change. That's it, that's, that's it isn't it? It's wanting to make the change. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, not just for being brave, not just for entertaining us, making us, I love your first bit, in case you haven't guessed, I am a Muslim. I love what you did, and thank you so much for coming out here and inspiring people to really want to make that change. That's very special. Fizza, thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody.